Hi Virgo, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for April 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for April 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for April 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Virgo. Virgo, these are your cards, honey. So, Virgo. You have the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Virgo, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Seven of Swords. For Virgo, clarify the Seven of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, or this is about making a decision. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication, maybe about this deception here, or making a decision because of this deception. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Virgo, listen, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> you could be making a decision to get your coins up here, your abundance here. Maybe some type of deception attached to it, okay? Maybe you want to come forth with truthful communication on how you got these coins here because it was deceptive. However, you can tell me that you're making a decision because there was some type of deception and now you're single because of this deception. Virgo, you have the page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So listen, Virgo, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the page of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the page of pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock and awe moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Virgo, it could be a shocking surprise. It could be a shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Virgo. Clarify the tower for Virgo. Clarify the tower for Virgo. It is clarified with the emperor. 
could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually a older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern, someone who wants complete control and authority. So Virgo could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So listen, Virgo, you can tell me it's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For Virgo, clarify the world. For Virgo, clarify the world. For Virgo, <clears throat> seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, and being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. Virgo, Virgo. Some type of lying, cheating, deceptive is here. Dealing with money, assets, resources, property, some type of practicality here, maybe money here. Or with you guys' commitment and you're closing out this cycle here. Virgo. Uh -huh. You have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Wands. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So listen, Virgo. Listen, you know, you could be feeling smug because you found out something, okay? About some type of deception, okay? You could also tell me that maybe you're, I don't know, I hope you're not overindulging because I need to know, is this your deception? Is it that you're wanting to come forth with truthful communication concerning a deception of, on how you got these coins here? And is it coming out here? So I just need to find out where it is. I don't see you getting your wish here unless the whole place a plan. Like, this is your sneaky, sneaky, deaky plan to get these coins here. So you could be getting your wish. We'll see, Virgo. You have the hermit. This is you, Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So, Virgo, this is you. Clarify the hermit for Virgo. Clarify the hermit. For Virgo. What about Virgo? What about Virgo? Clarify the hermit for Virgo. It is clarified with the girl. What the hell are you planning over here? Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting, and in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Virgo, listen. 
Honey bunny, are you over here looking at your coins, looking at your bank account? Because you started off telling me that you might want to come forth with some type of truthful communication here. You may even want to sneak off somewhere. And you might have a big smile on your face because you got away with it. Virgo, you over here counting your coins. I don't know. I'm just asking for a friend. However, comma, you can tell me you're waiting, contemplating, doing some heavy duty soul searching on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship because this deception was theirs and you're just needing to make a decision. Virgo, you have the moon. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that, hey, I'm in the dark concerning something. You can tell me you're using your intuition or there is a secret. Clarify the moon for Virgo. Clarify the moon for Virgo. Clarify the moon for Virgo. It is clarified with the sun. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Virgo could be dealing with a Leo, but listen, you can tell me that you're happy. You can tell me that you have this abundance. However, you can tell me that something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun for Virgo. Clarify the sun for Virgo. Clarify the sun for Virgo. It is clarified with the moon, sun, and stars. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny, destiny. So Virgo could be dealing with an Aquarius. You can tell me that you're following your destiny, getting your wish. Yeah. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Virgo. Clarify the star for Virgo. Clarify the star for Virgo. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Oh, we don't know. So Virgo, listen. I feel like there is some type of secret coming out here about a deception. But I also feel like you're at a crossroads on where to go from here, Virgo. You know, I can't say that this is about your partner. It very well could be that you're finding out that they were deceptive and you're trying to figure out where to go from here. But Virgo, there could also be some type of deception in your life with these coins here. And you're trying to figure out where to go, what to do. Something is coming out. Something is being discovered about this deception here. I don't know, Virgo, did you set it off? Did you set it off? Did you set, 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 set it off on the left? Y'all set it off. I don't know what you did. Virgo, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.